President Volodymyr Zelensky urged US President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping to attend his peace summit as Ukraine continues to face relentless Russian attacks in the 27th month of the invasion. Ukraine aims to gather as many countries as possible for Kyiv-led talks in Switzerland next month, intending to unify global opinion on ending the war and increasing pressure on Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has not been invited. In an English-language video recorded in the northeastern city of Kharkiv, inside the charred remains of a printing house destroyed by a Russian missile strike, Zelensky said over 80 countries would participate. I'm appealing to the leaders of the world, who were still aside from the global efforts of the Global Peace Summit, to President Biden, the leader of the United States, and to President Xi, the leader of China. Please show your leadership in advancing the peace, the real peace and not just a pause between the strikes. The summit would show who in the world really wants to end the war. However, it remains uncertain if Biden will attend, and Beijing, which has close ties with Moscow, has not confirmed its participation. A US official confirmed American involvement, but did not specify who would represent the country or at what level. Kyiv's peace plan calls for a complete withdrawal of Russian troops and the restoration of its internationally recognized borders, a demand Moscow rejects. Last week, Russian sources told Reuters that Putin was willing to negotiate a ceasefire that recognizes the current battlefield lines. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba responded by accusing Putin of attempting to sabotage the Switzerland event out of fear of its success. Kuleba noted that despite talks of a ceasefire, Russian troops continue to attack Ukraine, with missiles and drones striking Ukrainian cities and communities. Russia has previously dismissed the importance of Ukraine's conference. Meanwhile, Antony Blinken, US Secretary of State, has said that Ukraine has to make decisions for itself about how it's going to conduct this war. Uh, we have not uh, encouraged or enabled uh, strikes uh, outside of Ukraine, uh, but ultimately Ukraine has to make decisions for itself about how it's going to conduct this war. A war is conducting in defense of its freedom, of its sovereignty, of its territorial integrity. And we will continue to back Ukraine with the equipment that it needs to succeed, that it needs to win. The Chinese President Xi Jinping also spoke on Ukraine's situation in his recent meeting with his Russian counterpart Putin. Both sides agreed that a political solution to the Ukraine crisis is the right direction. China's position on this issue has been consistent and clear. This includes abiding by the purposes and principles of the United Nations Charter, respecting the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries, and respecting the reasonable security concerns of all parties, and building a balanced, effective and sustainable new security framework. China hopes for the early return of Europe to peace and stability, and will continue to play a constructive role toward this. During a two-day visit to Belarus, Russian President Vladimir Putin discussed the potential for talks about the Ukraine conflict in Minsk on May 24, but expressed uncertainty about who should be involved in the negotiations. And with whom to negotiate? This, of course, is not an idle question. I agree with you. Of course, we are aware that the legitimacy of the current head of state in Ukraine has ended.